Okay, so <laughs> I got some uh, Chinese bitter melon provided by Garrett. So we're gonna cut it open and gut it and then try it. It's supposed to be a super, super bitter. Um, it, you're supposed to cook it, like it's recommended to cook it so that it tastes good, but you can eat it raw. And it's supposed to be really, really bitter raw. So. It smells like peas in a pod. So I'm supposed to scrape this center out and then uh, just eat the green part. Ooh, that's really tough. Ooh. Uh oh. Kitty cat's gonna come get some. I don't know. <laughs> you want some? I don't think it's good for kitties. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, it wasn't too bad getting that out. All right. So here's just a little piece of bitter melon. Wow. 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 It tastes like a pea pod. That's so weird. That's so weird. It's, it is bitter. Oh, the more I eat it, the worse it gets. It just tastes bad, but man, that bitter just like <laughs> short circuits my brain but yeah I would say it's like it's exactly like a sweet pea if you just ate the pod that bite tasted fishy that's weird <laughs> that's weird it's not bad I like it it says that you can cook it with honey and soy sauce so I'm definitely going to try that I bet that's gonna be a lot better. It's not inedible. I don't really mind it. It's not the best tasting thing by itself, but it's not horrible. I don't know. I'll give it like a uncooked, like raw. I'll give it like a six out of 10. It's not really the best thing ever. On a bitterness scale, it's pretty bad. If you've ever, ever had like really strong, like tea without any like sugar or anything in it, it's kind of bitter like that. It's a little bit stronger than that, but overall, like 7 out of 10 on bitter, 7 out of 10 on taste. The Chinese bitter melon.